let's say you are in a room without any windows and you are asked to guess if it will rain today you have no information about the weather outside so you have no idea if it will rain or not therefore the probability of it raining today would be 50 50 but now you are told to go outside and check the weather you see that it is cloudy all of a sudden the probability of it uh, raining today has changed why because you have more information now the probability of it raining today is now conditional on the fact that it is cloudy outside this is called conditional probability conditional probability is the probability of an event happening given that another event has already happened mathematically the conditional probability of event a given event b is defined as p of a intersect b divided by p of b here p of a given b is the probability of a happening given b has already happened p of a intersect b is the probability of both a and b happening at the same time and p of b is the probability of b happening but why is conditional probability defined this way let's get an intuition for this to understand why this formula makes sense let's say we have a sample space s with two events a and b the probability of a happening is p of a and the probability of b happening is p of b we are interested in finding the probability of a happening given that b has already happened when b has already happened the sample space will be reduced to b the new sample space now will become b the probability of the a occurring within this new context is the portion of a that is within b as you might have guessed this portion is nothing but intersection of a and b Recall that uh, naive definition of probability is the number of favorable outcomes divided by the total number of outcomes. Because event P has already happened and is the new sample space, we can replace the total number of outcomes with the number of outcomes in B. Also, we can discard the outcomes that are not in new sample space. What left is the outcomes that are in both A and B, which is nothing but the intersection of A and B. That's how we get the formula for conditional probability. Let's further solidify our intuition by looking at an example. Suppose we have a deck of 52 playing cards and we are interested in finding the probability of drawing an ace from the deck of cards given that a heart has already been drawn. We shuffle the deck so that the cards are in random order so that every card has an equal chance of being drawn there are total of four ace cards in the deck similarly there are total of 13 heart cards in the deck therefore the probability of drawing a heart card would be 13 divided by 52 there is only one card that is both an ace and a heart. Therefore, the probability of drawing an ace of hearts would be 1 divided by 52. The conditional probability of drawing an ace given heart has already been drawn can be calculated by plugging in the values in the formula. After simplifying, we get the probability of drawing an ace given heart has already been drawn as 1 divided by 13. And this makes sense as per our intuition because when a heart has already been drawn the sample space is reduced to 13 cards and out of these 13 cards there is only one ace card therefore as per naive definition of probability the probability of drawing an ace card would be 1 divided by 13 I hope this gave you a good intuition for conditional probability. It is a very important concept in probability theory and is used in many real world applications. So make sure you understand this concept well. That's all for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to like this video and subscribe to the channel for more such videos. In the next video, we will learn about Bayes theorem. Thanks for watching.